Welcome to my GoPro tutorial with following topic. How to create qualitative good GoPro videos out of an airplane window. And what do you need for it? If you record the video out of a plane window, you can expect following problems. The biggest problem is the mirror effect in the double pans. For example, the front side of the GoPro can be reflected in the window. Or you can see the blinking record LED light. Unfavorable conditions are if there is more light inside the cabin than outside or if the light in the cabin switched on like here. Very high reflections occur during frontal sunlight. You can see it here very well. If the clouds have completely disappeared, you can see everything what's going on in front of the window. Even if you cover the window with a newspaper page, the text will be reflected in the window. If you have direct sunlight into the camera, it can be possible that the camera switched off as a result of overheating. In the past, I tried so many different things to get reflection-free videos, but what really helps, you will see now. What do you need? At first, you need a GoPro without housing with according lens cover. Then, the frame to fix the camera and the tripod adapter. Then, you need a suction cup with an additional adjustment possibility. You need the black adhesive tape to cover the red record LED. To avoid a reflection of the camera in the window, we need dark velvety cover material like here to cover the front of the GoPro camera. Then you need the black glass with 50 to 40 cm in size. Moreover, you need two clips to fix the glass in the window shade. Preparing the camera. We set the lens cover on the GoPro and cover the record LED with the black adhesive tape. We put the frame over the GoPro set in the tripod adapter and fix it with the fastening screw. Then we take the suction cup, screw the camera on and adjust it in such a way that the camera points to the suction mount. And then we fasten the camera. After that, we have the possibility to move the camera hinge in such a way that the camera position is vertical and the lens touches the window very little. Create good prerequisites. The right window seat is an important requirement for a good video. The internet page seatguru.com can be very helpful. Not recommended are emergency exits and window seats next to the engine in smaller planes. Seats directly above the wing can be interesting sometimes. But the wing 
always covers the downward view. Frontal seats in smaller planes always offer good views, but you don't have so much action at the wing. You have a lot of action in propeller-driven aircrafts close to the rotor blades. Behind the wing you can record the changing of landing flaps during takeoff and landing. To be seated direct in front of a jet engine can be interesting too, but in this case the wing covers a lot of the downward view. In big aircrafts on long distance flights you have more possibilities and you can see much more. In front of the wing, mostly in the business class, the view with the jet engines makes the video more interesting. especially when the thrust reverse is activated after the landing. The economy class mostly begins at the wings, with sideboard view to the engines. Behind the wings, the extended flaps during takeoff and landing makes the video very interesting. Here a record above Siberia with strong backlight. Interesting is the extending of the flaps during landing with additional deceleration after touchdown. Finally, the flaps reverts during the taxiway. You see, there is a lot of action behind the wings. In an A380, don't use wide mode, otherwise due to the big distance between the panes it will look like here. The highlight of all plane videos are records from the computer, but this 50, possibility 40, is very rare. 30, 20, 10. Now there is one question left, right side or left side. It is very nice if you see the airport during takeoff and landing, but you get the best records when you don't have backlight. Camera installation. At first we clean the window with a handkerchief. We take the lens cap away and put the reflection shade on the camera. And press power on. If you switch on the camera, the standard video resolution is 1080 full HD. If you would like to use the video unchanged, this adjustment is ok. If you will do post-processing of the record, I recommend the video resolution 1440 with a field of view ultra-wide. To change to 1440, go to settings, and select 1440. Then go to exit and switch the camera off. Why I am recommending 1440? The reason is, in the post processing you have the possibility to choose the best cut in 1080 Full HD out of the recorded video. And these are the results. We switch the camera on. And for better fixing in the window, we make the suction cup a little bit wet. 
we set the camera in the window center and use the suction cup attachment. Then we adjust the camera in such a way to the window that the lens just touch the glass and switch it on. To not get any mirror effect in the window, we take the black glass and fasten it with two clips at the window shade. Good evening and servus ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Austrian flight to Düsseldorf. I would also like to welcome guests booked for Starlines Partners. My name is Isabella Reiner, together with my colleague, I'm looking at the this flight. Flying time, one hour and twenty minutes. If you need further information, just kind of one of us, wish our blessings. Ready to start. 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 Here an example of a night record where you can see what happens when you take the black glass away. Here a final tip. If you await direct sunlight, it is recommended to remove the battery door. Otherwise, it can be that the camera switches off as a result of overheating. So, now we are at the end of the tutorial. If you like the video, I would be happy for a thumb up and a comment. If you subscribe my plane spotting channel, I would be even more happy. Or if you subscribe one of my further channels like HVDH Sport and HVDH Film. Goodbye.